in today's video i'll show you the best mid-range playable gaming pcs that you can buy right now and the prices are between a thousand and seventeen hundred dollars because above that number i think it's a high-end pc and below that number i think it's a medium to low-end gaming desktop now if you find any gaming pc that you like throughout this video it's going to be linked down below in the description and if this video is helpful i'm going to ask you to subscribe but most importantly hit the bell button to get notified when i upload this type of content without more to say let's start with the list with the first PC for $1,014, we have the CyberPower Extreme VR Gaming PC. This one has the i5 11400F and the RTX 2060. Now, if you don't know anything about components, don't worry about it. For 1080p gaming, this one is going to be enough at 60 frames per second in every single game, even the high demanding ones. Now, if you want to play games like Valorant, CSGO, Fortnite, and those type of competitive games, this one is going to be able to average 240 FPS in competitive settings. So if you're searching for high FPS in competitive settings and 60 FPS on average in every single game, this one is the cheapest one that you can buy right now on the market. The only downside for this PC is that it comes with 8 gigs of RAM on single channel. This means that it only has one stick instead of two sticks of RAM. So what I would recommend here is upgrading the RAM. You will have a link down below in the description as well. But other than that, this PC is going to be great to start gaming in today's market. With the next PC, we have this Kitech Place 3.0 gaming desktop this one has the i5 10400f which is a little bit worse than the i5 11400f but you're not going to notice that big of a difference but the thing here is that you get the rx 6600 xt for the gpu you also get one terabyte of nmeami ssd which is going to be more than the cyber power one you also get two sticks of 8 gigs of ram at 3200 megahertz which is 16 gigs in total so overall you only get a worse cpu but you get a way better gpu and actually the 6600 xt is going to be a better option than the rtx 3060 for a little bit so this gaming pc is going to be way better at gaming than the cyber power one and on top of that you get a better cooling overall because you get a better cpu cooler and you get better airflow for the case so overall for 1300 dollars i think your best option on the market right now is going to be this skytech pc and of course, you're going to be able to run everything just like the Cyber Power one, but you're also going to be able to start gaming at 1440p 60fps on average, depending on the game and depending on the settings. But for 1080p gaming, this one is going to be a beast. Now the next PC, it's another one from CyberPower, but this time it's from Newegg and it has the i7 11700F, the RX 6600, not XT version, 1TB of hard drive and 500 gigs of NVMe SSD alongside 16 gigs of RAM. So here you get a worse GPU than the last one, so for high GPU demanding video games, it's going to be a little bit worse than the last one, but you get a better CPU, you get the i7 11700F, so if you're searching to stream with one PC as well, video editing at 4K, or if you want to do multitasking and you also need more storage because this one has more storage, this one is going to be the better option. Now, the only downside that I see here is that cooler for the CPU, the i7-11700F runs hot. So if you want a cooled CPU, I will leave down below in the description a 240mm AIO liquid cooler, which is the minimum that you have to get in order to cool this CPU down. So I wouldn't recommend buying this gaming PC if you're not going to upgrade the CPU cooler or if you're not going to do a streaming. If you're just for gaming, I would recommend you going with the Skytech, you save some money and you also get better results at gaming for those high GPU demanding video games. But once again, if you're just playing with a 1080p monitor, any of these PCs is going to be enough, but I would start with the Skytech Place 3.0 that I mentioned before, and that's because for the cyber power you have to upgrade some components, and it's going to be enough for 1080p, of course, but you will need some upgrades. For the Skytech, you won't need any upgrade at all, you just plug it in and start gaming. Speaking of Skytech, the last one is another Skytech Blaze 3.0 gaming PC. This time it has the i7 11700F with a 240mm AIO liquid cooler like I said before. So the CPU is going to run cool and you also get that from a panel so the airflow is going to be really decent for this PC. For the GPU, you get the RTX 3060 Ti, which is better than every GPU that I've mentioned, even the 6600 XT. You get 1TB of SSD, 16 gigs of RAM at 3200 MHz, and a 600 watts gold power supply. Now, if in the future you're going to change the RTX 3060 Ti, maybe to like a 3080 or something like that, you will need a better power supply than a 600 watts gold power supply. But for gaming now and for streaming, this PC is by far the best one. You're also going to be able to play at 1440 p 60 frames per second every single game once again depending on the settings but overall this pc is going to be great 
and that's the only downside, the power supply for the future, but it's something that you can actually change, so don't worry about it for now if you don't have the money to change the power supply. So that was the whole list. I know it was a short video, but that's because there were only 4 PCs that I think are worth it buy for this type of pricing. Let me know in the comment section if you have a different budget and I will try to help you out with a gaming PC. It can be a pro PC or a PC build, just let me know which one is the best for you because maybe you want to build your own PC and this is what I actually recommend. But because the market is so expensive right now, I would recommend buying pro build PCs for performance, but if you actually want the experience of building by yourself, which is a great experience experience and you also get to learn about components but the performance overall is going to be a little bit worse than these pro build gaming pcs so thank you guys for watching thank you for the support remember that if you found this video helpful leave a like and subscribe but most importantly hit the bell button i will see you on the next one